You're watching Telecom TV from SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague. And joining me now is Rabbi Abdel, who is Principal Cloud Architect and Senior Manager at Vodafone Group. Rabbi, good to see you on Telecom TV again. Thanks for having me. Um, we are, as the industry, continuing our network transformation journey. Um, we've been spending a lot of years on, on, on NFE, but n now we're starting to talk a lot more about cloud native. Can, can I ask, first of all, why cloud native is attracting attention? What is it about cloud native that is, that is of interest to, to operators? Yeah, actually, uh, cloud native is the first assurance we have that we actually will be able to scale our infrastructure in the way that we always dreamt of but also cloud native will give us the ability to distribute application in different geography based on our customer needs. And with our Vodafone gigabit network and our 5G, it's really important for us to be able to deliver services to our customers in real time in a true sense. And the cloud native is the only way we could achieve that in milliseconds of latency less than of 10. We've spent a, a number of years, about seven years since the NFE uh, white paper was, was published. Um, has, have we as an industry spent too long focused on virtualization? I think you're right. We spend far too long on virtualization so far. If you look at other industries like uh, IT, they embrace cloud native technologies in the speed you can't even imagine. And mm -hmm. we haven't even begun thinking about standardizing this technology. So I think we, there's really a lot to catch up on in that field. But we're not saying that we're just going to uh, abandon NFA, are we? No, of course not. I mean, NFV is just a stop in that journey. But the destination is not really NFV. But we learn so much from NFV. And to be honest, practically speaking, we can't really jump into cloud native in one day. So this learning we gained from NFV is really important for us to know how do we really need to progress into this full automated, full orchestration environment for cloud native and our 5G use cases coming up in the future. So it's a continuum. It's, it, it, it's, it's a necessary process to, to, to work on NFE and as an operator to, to start deploying NFE, but we also simultaneously need to look ahead and overlap our technologies. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at uh, how Cloud Native Green is coming along, I mean, we spent, uh, as I mentioned, uh, too far in virtualization and NFV, but now we really want to go into the next step of uh, being fully automated, leverage the orchestration solution we have, leverage the modular services so we can actually scale out our infrastructure mm -hmm. and utilize the infrastructure so we can reduce the cost and speed our time to market. Now, Cloud Native is the way to do that, but to do this really proactively, I think it's the time now to take a step back and think about all the learning we learned from NFV I think how do we really need to tackle the challenges we're still seeing in the industry with the cloud native and Kubernetes frameworks and CNCF projects mm -hmm. into delivering a solutions that's suitable for everybody. And this is really what we're trying to do in CNTT. Effectively, instead of each operator taking their, uh, their own path into a uh, cloud journey, we said, okay, let's sit together, think about the problems we're facing as industry, learn from our own learnings we had from NV, and think about how do we tackle those challenges in a consistent way, so everyone really get the value of the collaboration we're having. You mentioned there the, the work that's been going on with CNTT, which is a, a, a very recent uh, mm. initiative led by uh, a group of telcos, including Vodafone. W sure. what's, what's, what's been the re response to that? Because uh, it seems you've done an awful lot in a, in a short space of time. Yeah, I mean, actually, the, it's well overwhelming the number of contribution we, uh, we have and the interest we see in the community. I think that really an acknowledgement and validation of the need to bring in this consistency from the infrastructure. Because to be honest, if we really need to scale out and bring this automation, we really need to sort out the foundation of the cloud infrastructure we keep talking about. Now, there, there's too many configuration exists today, and that brings a lot of integration challenges, which will reduce the cost of operators and make the operation of those infrastructure is really a nightmare. And this is why you start seeing cyber deployments of our network and not really the scalability that we're looking for. CNTT is trying to uh, drive simplification in different fronts. Number one is trying to simplify our relation with Vienna vendor by completely abstracting the infrastructure, but number two also trying to bring consistency on the way this infrastructure is being delivered and implemented so we have a consistent operating model for the infrastructure. And finally, it will also drive simplification on the way those VNFs are verified and certified to be deployed in our infrastructure. Instead of having to do verification internally, we can now actually offload a lot of aspects of this verification back into the community so we could focus into delivering the services to our customer and have better time to market. 
Now, w- when we talk cloud native, we, I think m- most of us will instinctively think of containers and the orchestration of that via Kubernetes. Mm. They aren't the only cloud native technologies. It's a big part of it, obviously. Um, it, it does, does the telecoms industry as a, as a separate enterprise group, if you like, have its own specific requirements? Is, is there, is there a, a risk, in a way, that it might want to adapt or fork some of that existing work and, 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 and plow its own route? That's an interesting question. Actually, if you look at the cloud native and the IT workload, we share fundamentally the same principles when it comes to uh, cloud native. Mm-hmm. Now, the reality is IT workload and telco workloads are different in terms of requirement. So telco workload has specific requirements when it comes to performance, latency, security. So it's really important to find out the best way to solve those problems in cloud native environments or Kubernetes and container world and make them applicable to our telco workload. But something I would like to really emphasize on, that has to be done in a consistent way. And instead of having 10 ways of solving the same challenge and the same problem, we need as an operator to work together and collaborate together to bring in this consistency on the way those challenges are solved. At the end of the day, we're not really competing in the infrastructure anymore. So this is really where collaboration is important, which what CNTT really is trying to, to do in the, in the first sense. Yeah. The, the event we're at this week um, brings together NFE and, and, and SDN. Um, What's, what's the feeling around the show? Are, are, we, are, we, are we focused too much on, on um, repeating the messages that, that we've uh, been talking about previous years? Do we need to move forward? At the end of the day, we're moving to a digital world. Mm. So we really would like to see more uh, talk about uh, software innovation uh, while keeping the infrastructure simple. And for that to happen, we really need to look at how do we standardize the infrastructure and make it optimal to be for the workload but the focus really should be how do we build intelligence into the software so we have proper software uh, cloud native deployments that we could use to scale out our infrastructure and deliver better automation and better service to our customers. Great. Well, Ravi, thank you very much for joining us again on Telecom TV. Thank you.